Hey guys, Studious Toe here, and this is the third episode of my Let's Play of Banish. So let's get to it. We're gonna load up Bagel Town here, or Bagel Town, as, as some people would call it. Um, actually, I think I've, I've already committed to Bagel Town. Uh, we are the Bagel Nation, although uh, sometimes bagels are more important than bagels. Um, just ignore that total <laughs> batch of nonsense I just I just uh, served up. Uh, we've got our laborers, we can see them over here harvesting these trees. Uh, we are good though on wood for our woodcutter. Uh, we've, we've already got up to 300 uh, firewood it looks like, so that's pretty good. And it looks like we are also full on tools, so those are both good signs. Excuse me for a moment. Oh goodness, allergies, I need to sneeze. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, you might be able to tell from my uh, manic sneezing that this is the... Uh, I, I'm, I'm recording this is the third episode, but this is all in the same day as the first two. Uh, which is, I think, is why I'm, I'm sneezing so much. Or, well, to you is why I'm sneezing so much in different episodes. Anyway, none of that matters. Uh, oh goodness, I, I hope I'm not getting sick. Also, I don't think I unmuted myself. I, I was talking about how uh, I'm recording this on the same day as the first two episodes, which is, uh, to you, is why I'm sneezing manically in several different episodes. Uh, okay, we don't have a, a tailor. I guess I didn't save the game? When we, oh wait, wait, no, never mind, that's not what that means. What does that mean? The materials required are, are not available. We need more leather. Okay, so let's head over to our. Um, first off, let's slow down time. Let's let's let's, let's chill out. Let's, we'll, we'll we'll have some fun. That's our gatherer's hut. Excuse me, hunting cabin. Um, how are we? Oh, uh, how are we doing on resources? We've made ten this season. We've got ten leather. Um, so I don't. I think that's. I don't know that that's particularly good. Uh, toggle. Okay. Okay. So you can keep that open. That's nice. I uh, keep all of these windows open. Um, we need more leather, though, for our, our clothing. However, it might also be useful to have more... have a... Uh, have sheep. Um, I don't think we can have sheep, though, until we have a trading post set up. But we will start a pasture and have that ready for when we can get some sheep. Uh, provide a uh, pasture. Provide an area for livestock to graze. That's the in-game description of that. Is that a path? Can we get something through there? Okay, we'll probably want to... I'm going to start expanding in this direction a little bit. We can also have a path there later, but uh, for now I think I'm going to keep it over here. Uh, okay, we can, we'll can. we also probably start another path here so we can access our storage barn from this side. Um, I don't really know how to do a pasture. So we'll just... Uh, okay, it requires wood for the fence. Um, so that, okay, okay, you have to have a certain area, it looks like, for it to take effect. Um, I, it looks like squares are going to be the most efficient use of materials, I think, is, I think that's what geometry in, in middle school taught me. That, um, I think that's the smart way up, 10 by 9. We'll try, we'll try 10 by 10, well, that's what we'll try for now, I think that's the efficient... It's like, that's using a lot of resources, and that's, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that'll work. That a square is the most efficient. Um, so let's do that. We'll start a pasture. Uh, we've got some laborers. We'll get some builders, though, who will build that. And we'll also send some laborers to harvest all these materials in our town. Might as well get rid of these things that are kind of in our way. And actually, we'll get rid of uh, some of this stuff, too. This will give us some extra resources. All this stuff that's... A tree? Why? Trees and... Are there trees? Oh, they're already... Oh, they're already being worked on. Okay, that's why. They've already been designated for removal. Okay. Um, eventually we'll also get rid of this rock. I think we're good on stone at the moment. Um, I think that's actually a little low, but we'll we'll get over it for now. So we're building a pasture, and we will also go and build a 
a trading post. I think that's what they're called in this game. Uh, uh, those are structures. Town services? Schoolhouse, hospital, town hall, chapel. No? Um, hopefully soon I'll be used to how these, these work. These designations. Boarding house. Uh, roads. Storage markets. Trade. Okay, so I think we just lost over that. Okay, so trading post. Okay, so now we need to put a trading post in a good spot. You're supposed to put it uh, on a river or at a like a lake that connects to a river uh, and a big river. This looks like a small river, so that would be even though we're nowhere near there. That would well, that's two reasons it would be a terrible use. Um, they have to be on rivers from I'm pretty sure. Um, this looks like we're set up by a, a pretty good river. I don't think I think this is the main river in the, on this map seed. So I, I think that's all we're going to be able to do. Just put it somewhere on the river. Um, I don't know which way the... Well, um, which way does the water flow? So we would probably want to put it on this side of our fishing hut. Um, I imagine that's the logic. I could be wrong. Um, I'd really love to put it right there just for, just for the sake of lining things up. Wait, wait, wait. Water flows out. So they would be coming this way. So I think that's actually the logic I want, so that we don't have traders. I don't I don't know if the game will will uh, care. That's just what I'm doing for now. But we'll put it on this side. That seems logical to me. So we will try and be logical. Um This might be a little tricky to place. Okay, we've got this spot. I don't know that I like that spot, but might be the only thing we have over here. Maybe rotate it. Jiggle it around. Could place it. Well, no. There's some... Um, as you can probably tell, this one side... Oh, that's a crane. We're super fancy. Um, this side has to be on the water. This side has to be on land. The, the, the side where the path needs to go. I guess you have to have it that full path accounted for. We're just gonna place it in that spot that we found earlier. I'm going to. Um, I don't know if that bugs anyone besides me, me saying uh, we instead of I. Place that there. Okay, that's designated now. Uh, close that menu, close, get rid of that. And you probably will need a bunch of resources. I, for, I forgot what the resource allocation was that for that. We'll, we'll check that again, actually. Uh, my market for trade will probably want to set up fairly soon, I imagine. Um, stockpile, no. Uh, trading post. That was for the trade of resources with merchants. That's a lot of uh, resources we need. Uh, we don't have enough iron or, s or stone or iron. No, we have enough iron. That is iron, correct. Okay, that's iron. Uh, but we don't have enough stone, so we'll need to get more of those resources. However... I've conveniently left all this stone right here that we can gather, uh, so we'll do that. F9 and 4? That is stone, correct? Okay, F9, 4. Everyone remember that. Uh, that is how you collect stones. Oh, let's get all of that marked. I don't know if selecting a, an area, a big area, is necessarily a waste. It might be. Um, what I mean by that is, if you select a big area, and like, if I selected this whole area, but there's only that much stone, I don't know if that is inefficient, if the game takes that into account, or if it's, or if you could just theoretically select the whole map, and it would, the workers would know to only, they wouldn't search the whole map, I think is what I'm getting at. Okay, so, got that taken care of. And, we'll close out that menu for the... Okay, we've got we've got new laborers though. That's a good thing. Sarium and Ethica have grown up. Um, somewhere in here we can we can check the uh, our townspeople. Um, I'm not liking seeing that we are only have uh, three and a half bars of health. I think that's fairly poor. Um, let me unpause the game, but we will see. 
Um, to me, it sounds like having a uh, town hall is a, a thing you want to do after several years and not just immediately. Um, also, we probably need to... Okay, this, this is ready for us to assign a worker. Oh, wait, what is, what is this? Number of citizens working at this location. Okay, we can, we can add... Oh, that's the number... Okay, you can have one or two. I imagine with a huge pasture, you could have more than two. For now, we're going to assign one herds... It's a herdsman, right? Uh, right? Yeah. Why is that not showing a zero? Oh, we don't need one because we don't have any cattle. So that's probably why that number is zero. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain we have to get that from trading, hopefully. Is our, our trading... Oh, that's our fishing dock. I'm sorry. Hopefully our trading post is done fairly soon. Um, it's autumn, so we, uh, we're good on firewood, so that's a good sign. However, we, uh, uh what does that mean? Uh, we're out of resources. Um, so we're gonna get rid of our tailor for now. Um, since, looks like, okay, we can't, like, grow cotton or anything. Um, we'll, we'll assign someone, but we're gonna, we're not going to assign someone. And we're gonna just have an extra laborer helping, helping out elsewhere. I'm going to check back in on our uh, leather and food production over here. Um, we haven't gotten that much in the last few seasons, so this this could be rough. Um, how are our gatherers doing? Um, they look like they're doing pretty well. Onions, of course, are delicious. They're gathering quite a bit of them. I'm not sure how these are, why these are sorted so weird. Well... We'll, we'll mystery for another day. Um, okay. Um, trading post. We'll probably want to establish another stockpile and storage barn nearer the trading post. Also, we'll want to speed up time to to get that built sooner. Um. Uh oh. It's turning to winter. Oh, it's just late autumn right now, so. Um, for the heck of it, we're going to uh, get rid of these trees here. Um, actually, all resources, in case there's something I don't, I'm not seeing. Just get those out of the way. I like, I like having a clean view of my town. Designate all that to be removed. The reserve of stone is low. Okay, um, our stone is still very low. Um, is this stuff all being removed? Okay, we've got people coming out. That's, that's a good sign. Um, you know, oh, we have no stone at all. That's not a good thing. Um, I don't know why that's more shocking than um, simply... Uh, what am I trying to say? Why that's shocking, but seeing that our, our supply is low isn't just having zero, I guess, is what I'm freaking out about. Um, we'll get that iron, too, also. I guess I could just harvest all three of these resources at once, instead of doing it by hand, but we don't, uh, looks like we're doing okay on wood. Um, so I think automatically, though, once we have this trading post set up, people will come and trade with us uh, from other towns in the area, maybe from, uh, from, well, I guess not across the Atlantic. In, in my mind, this is a, this is just a colony of, of, I guess Australia would make more sense, although... But th th this feels, to me, it just feels like a, a, an American colony back in the 1600s. Um, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know if the, the technology completely matches up. Um, also, kind of our, our modern definition of technology um, is <laughs> we think of cell phones and things, but technology is paper, is technology, pen, pencil, that's technology. Um, we, we often forget, like, uh, you know, my example is, is people who get outraged when they see a baby trying to touch screen a piece of paper, trying to, to swipe and gesture on it. But, um, I mean, that's not that shocking, really. Um, I mean, we, we aren't born knowing what paper is. 
Um, paper is technology. There was a time when paper, people would have not known, known what to do with paper. So it's, it's not as bad a thing as we might seem. I mean, there are other, there are obviously issues with it, of course, but... I mean, what, what isn't there an issue with? Um, I think we have to have a trader present to... Oh, we can have six traders. Wow. Um, trader Joes. Um, we don't have many laborers to spare. We'll assign two to trade. And if we get someone in to come into port, then we will uh, probably switch more. Uh, what is this question mark? No citizens are available to work. We'll add a tailor. Um, looks like we're surviving this winter pretty well. Um, I don't think I've had a single person die. I could be wrong there. Oh, are those deer deers crossing? Oh, that's so cool. I'm, I'm just I'm just enamored with these deer. Oh, that, that's so cool. But this this one left his friends behind. Oh, okay. No materials, so we will we will fire our tailor and just have another generic laborer. Okay. Okay. We are we are going through these resources again our, our tools and our our firewood that, that's a good sign that uh i think i wonder if when there's no work to be done if, if people just revert to being laborers that would be a nice touch i'm not sure if that happens um hopefully i don't have to do all that manual we'll check up on this stuff over here um i'm just probably I, i'm checking up i don't really know what to what to look for, what is a good good takeaway, although that looks like a pretty good start to this season. Also, I think seasons are years right now, but I could be completely wrong there. Um, like I say, we're still learning the game. Um, let's trade, still going. Um, if, you, if you get animals, they'll be kept here until a pasture is available. Um, I also think from the tutorial, from what I know, uh, pastures, you designate what kind of animal goes in a particular pasture. And I, I think it's sheep, chicken, and cows are the available things, but there could be more. I'd love to have some sheep, because we really need to... Well, we have a lot of stored clothes, though, so that's, that's a good sign that our leather is being put to use. Um, we are in, as dire, in an as dire situation as I thought we were. Um, earlier, we only had eight. So I wonder if you don't have clothes, if people start looking different if they get naked I, I imagine they wouldn't get naked they just look gross but what do I know um, this is yeah uh, assuming my, my logic is correct traders would come from this direction I don't know if they just appear in your town I do think you get a notification if one shows up but um, I'm not sure I, th I think you can just have a, a I don't know if you have to have a trader present I think you might just be able to designate that when the appropriate time comes. I'm going to keep one here. Um, another time I might look that up to, to find find an answer to my question. But for now, just leave one and have laborers going. Uh, what? How are our resources looking? Uh, we need more iron. Our stone is better than it was, but it could everything could always be better. Um, we're going to F9... And two is how you just gather all resources. We're going to finish clearing out this a little bit. Um, um, I like that this doesn't affect structures. I, I don't know why it would, but we're just, we're just going to kind of... Is that too much? I mean, it's kind of it's a, it's a pretty far reach, but we're going to just... It's not all that much supplies. We're just going to have that continually going on in the background. Um... And adjust people, of course, when we need be. Oh, these, I, I love the deer in this game. Maybe I'm just I'm just a baby, but probably am. But I just, I just they're, they're cool. You just see the deer roaming. So I mean, it looks like we're we're, we're we're making our way towards a sustainable town. I think our a forest and a mine would be the best way to continue that. Actually, let's look at the requirements for those things. I'm gonna slow down time, just chill out some. Okay, that's F9, right? No, no, no. Um, mine. Mine. Okay, used to mine iron and coal out of the ground. Miners cannot be removed once placed. Okay. Um, that's noteworthy. Quarry used to mine stone from the ground. Quarries cannot be removed. Wait. 
Oh, mines, not miners. Okay. I thought that just meant that they went far underground and like they, they couldn't come back for air. Okay, that that is, we'll probably want to establish those away. Like I imagine this would be a good place for a mine and this would be a good place for a quarry. Um, just based on what I'm seeing, I, I imagine. But we'll probably be setting those up fairly soon. Um, of course, I imagine, uh, I, I guess mines and quarries require um, expansion fairly, at a, at a fairly constant rate. Whereas, what am I trying to say? Other words mean other things. Um, whereas a forest, you, you could, uh, you, you could potentially at least replant trees and you wouldn't, you could just keep one of my, I, trees, they're renewable resources, is what I'm trying to say. Stone and iron, not so much. Um, so, um, can we check our seeds? Stored coal, stored clothes, I think they're stored alcohol. Uh, the, I, in my mind, these guys are Puritans and, and won't be drinking anything, but... Um, Forcing Lodge. Let's, I don't. I, I feel like I want that to be closer. Place it over here. That's pretty dense, um, but that would probably need a bridge to be useful. Um, so I, I think after we get this Foresting Lodge going, we will want to uh, build a bridge across the River Kauai. Is that how you say that? It's a reference, anyway. I, I don't know how to say it though, because I, I, I read it. I didn't hear it. Anyway, um, reference to the, the movie starring Alec Guinness. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm off on a tangent. Um, our next priority will be building a bridge over the river. Let's not get caught up on that one again. And establishing a mine and a quarry. I think that's probably, well, that, well, because that, that's just closer. I think that's probably a better use of resources than having people walk. And plus, that gives our, our, our laborers and builders something to do. Um, we'll get this forest forest lodge going. Uh, right click. Remember to right click. That's how you destroy stuff. Or destroy. No. Um, it's just how you get rid of stuff. I'm not sure if placing things near your fishing lodge will affect the fish. Part of me thinks it would. Part of me thinks it won't. Um, also, part of me wishes I had built this one over so that I could just build a bridge perfectly straight into town, but that, that's... Um, Taylor. Do we have do we have leather? I think leather would be stored in here. If we have leather, we can we can make some more clothes. We've, we've got a decent amount stored, but um, we'll, we'll get the tailor back. Um, we do have plenty of... Uh, we have a decent workforce growing. Oops, sorry. Um, looks like we need to build more homes, actually. Looks like we're starting to get there. We are uh, not having many children, which I think means that people are getting married but living with their families. So we'll probably... Oh, goodness. This is this is where the game gets fun and interesting, isn't it? Um, I think... Well, hmm. First off, we'll probably want to build another storage barn over here so there's not as much walking going on. Um, and we'll probably, I'm thinking this way we'll expand for homes, this way we'll expand for, uh, pastures and the like. Um, that's, that's just a basic plan. Once, I, once I'm more familiar with the game and once I'm, uh, you know, maybe on the second or third town that I, I establish, we will be hopefully more comfortable with where we place things. Uh, we, I keep calling myself we, does that bother you, viewer, YouTube, royal viewer, all of you, or none of you if no one watches? That's okay, I'm having fun, so I don't care too much if people watch. Um, so we'll build a wooden bridge. I want to build a tunnel, but we we'll probably should pick a mountainous terrain if we want to do that. Um, does... Okay, 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 that's good. It's good to know. A, uh, if you just do that, that's... that's it's not going to use more than is necessary. Um, it's not going to make, just because you start here and end here, it's not gonna make a super long bridge. It's just going to make the minimum requirements. That's that's good to know. 
we're going to cancel that actually and see if there's a better place to build that to use fewer resources to conserve what we have. Oh, we gotta we gotta start on a green. You got, I guess that means. Did I did I break the did I did I break it? Fourteen. I think thirteen is gonna be our our, our magic number for now. Um, we're gonna be looking for twelve, but we're at a pretty wide point in the river. Um, I like those locations I picked for our quarry and our mine, so I think we're going to stick with those. And also, because putting it two out of the way would mean more road, I think we're just going to establish that this is our wooden bridge. So there we go. Um, oh, I closed the window that shows me our laborers. Um, I, I really wish I... I'm, I'm mad at myself for using the mouse too much. I need to be using the uh, hotkeys, because that's very... That's very, very useful. It's a nice layout. And I just peeked over at the time. We're, we're nearing the... We're starting to get close to 30 minutes, so... I'll try and find a natural way to wrap up this episode. Um... No. Um, we don't... I don't need the map. There we go. There we go. Four. Okay. Four, right. Okay, yeah. Four. So, F2, F4 is how we get to the professions, uh, window. Um... We're doing pretty well on logs. Stone and iron could be doing better, but we're doing well enough. Um, we're going to speed up time now. I'll just go to five times instead of ten. Um, yeah, this is this is a really cool game so far. I, I will find out how much play replayability it has um, soon enough. I imagine it's got a decent replayability, and um, soon the, the developer has said that he's going to add modding. Um, he has no plans currently for adding to the game other than adding mods, or adding the ability to mod, but once that's going, I think there will probably be some sort of challenge, uh, system, and people will be, will be, will happily add lots of stuff to the game, so, but that's, 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 that's encouraging. I'd love, uh, two things I'd love, I would love... Um, now I can't remember what I, what I, <laughs> I would love multiplayer. I was going to say that one second. Um, I don't know if there would be a, a good way to do that. Just, it'd be kind of cool. I, I'd love to play with, uh, some of my friends and I would love, uh, other things. Ah, that makes me nervous building that bridge so close. What is the other thing I'd love? I would love a, a campaign mode, something you just, you just. Uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon or general sim style, like any kind of simulation game. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon is the one I played the most. Uh, I'm sure because of the similarities to that and uh, many. <laughs> the deer uses the bridge! Oh, I love this game! I, I just fell in love with this game because of the deer. I didn't even expect to, to care about the deer so much. Anyway. I'd love to see some kind of uh, a, a campaign mode, something something more than just... Because right now it's a sandbox, and um, that has potential to limit... Why did that tree fall over there? I'm a little confused. Did I accidentally build another a bridge over there? I don't see the designated... Maybe I'm, I'm losing my mind. Um, we're just about to... We're, we're going to hit 30 minutes in, in, in another bit so we will uh, try and wrap this up organically though um, looking around I'm, I'm I think our town's in decent shape we're not dying yet um, oh houses houses that needs to be our big priority we are running out of children um, children renewable re resource um, so <laughs> renewable resource people though are a resource in this game I'm I'm, I'm um, Anyway, uh, what am I saying? Nah, I don't. I, I lost my my train of of, of 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 thought trains. We're gonna build another house here. We need to build houses so people will move out and have babies. Oh, I can't build a house there. Houses are four wide. I thought they were three. Oh well, that's just me not remembering stuff. And we'll build a road here eventually. Um, so that will be... It might just have to be an extra large piece of road or 
maybe some weird allocation of 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 of, of, of land. Uh, what am I trying to build this house? We're gonna rotate this house. Um, um, we're gonna build a couple of houses here. Okay, they're four by four. I don't know why I haven't learned that yet. Did I just? Ugh, I screwed that up. Can I can I delete that? Even though it hasn't been built yet, I'll leave it there because I don't want to waste resources. But no, no, not remove resources. Remove structure. Does that do what I think it does? Oh, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Uh, F three, build a wooden house. That's what we're trying to do. We're gonna build three, and we'll build a path. And then, no, 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 no. I'm trying to use hotkeys because if if I play this enough. The hotkeys will just speed everything up. Right now it's slowing me down, but we'll build a dote road, dote, dote, a, word, a dode, a dirt road. Um, three more houses. We probably could deal with five or six more, quite honestly. We have five right now, and we're just not having babies. Um, I imagine due to the uh, aging population of Bagel Town and the uh, kids still living at home. So we've got a lot of building to do. We're going to. Um, resources we can um our, we're gonna assign our woodcutter and our blacksmith to also to just be gatherers who's our blacksmith and maybe also our tailor we're good on that um so we'll assign those people to come help build these houses and with that i think we're gonna call it a day on this uh episode of my let's play uh, that should wrap, about wrap things up, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. I really appreciate it. If you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below in the comments section. And if you want to see more of this Let's Play or any of my other content, please subscribe. I've been Studio Stowe, and thanks so much for watching. Goodbye now.